question 13. Uh, we have four temperatures. We need to find out the mean. You need to remember the difference between the mean, the median, and the mode. You need to remember the mean is the average where we add the values together. And then we divide by how many values we've got, which is 20.5. Part B, Sarah decides that she will uh, go to stay in the holiday resort if the, maximum, if the mean maximum temperature for the last two weeks is higher than 20. She knows that the mean maximum temperature for the 10 days before these four days was 19.7. So we've got 10 days where the mean was 19.7, and then we've got these four days here. Altogether, that makes 14 days. Um, we need to work out whether or not the mean maximum temperature for the last two weeks is higher than 20. So we can't do that straight away because we don't know the 14 individual temperatures to add together and divide by 14. However, we do though that the mean of these 10 is 19.7. Now remember, the mean is the total divided by the number of values. So we got an answer of 19.7 when we added together the total temperature of these 10 days and then divided by 10. So we can work out the total temperature for those 10 days is 197 degrees because that's the number that when we divide it by 10 gives us 19.7. So now we know that the first 10 days had a total temperature of 197. We can add on the total temperature of the last four days, which we worked out to be 82. And then we can divide that by 14, because altogether we've got 14 days now. So 197 plus 82 gives us a total temperature of 279. Divide that by 14 is 19.928 and, and so on. Um, she decides that she's going to stay if the mean maximum temperature is higher than 20, the mean maximum temperature is lower than 20. So is she going to stay in the holiday resort? No. Because the mean is less than 20.